Hi there beautiful souls, so happy to see you again tonight and over the next 20 minutes I want to have a little share with you about um, what you do with the bully in your head, like every one of us has uh, different voices that operate in our body and you know some of them are louder than others but I think it's safe to say that most of us have what we call a bully voice or maybe multiple bullies that um, that voice their opinion about us all day long and it literally gets in the way of our progress and uh, the other day I was listening to a mindset coach and she was uh, talking about the bully in our heads like the bully voice and she said you have to beat it like just beat it or shut it down she was giving us different ways of shutting it down beating it and ways to ignore it and so um today i want to show you a completely different approach and i'm also speaking from from experience because um for many many years i had like a very very mean and nasty and sarcastic bully that would often just jump out at me and jump in the driver's seat and, and really, um, you know, um, overshadow my life and my actions and my relationship. And even if I managed to push it under, then I was still conscious of it because it drained my energy and so on. So let's just talk about this a little bit, right? And, and if you're listening to me right now or if you're watching the replay mm -hmm. later, I want you to think of a, the t a time or a regular time or occasion when the bully jumps out of you. Let's just call it a bully. But I still want you to know that even calling that voice in your head, the bully voice, a bully, in a way, sorry, I've got little flies here now, <clears throat> um, is also kind of disrespectful to you. Because when you think about it, who does that voice belong to? right where is it coming from it actually belong belongs to you right and um and it's very very important that you love honor and respect yourself um as a coach and a healer and a therapist i know that this is the journey that the journey of life the journey of life is literally that we're born as beautiful delicious gorgeous babies babies totally love themselves they know they're adorable and they know they're fresh from source and they know they're perfect and then within a number of years that feeling is destroyed it's gone and then um as the child grows up the splits happen like so we i call them splits or shadows or in the inner children split off and memories are being suppressed traumatic memories and as the years go on we become more and more disconnected from that perfect little self that we were born with but it doesn't mean that that self that presence is gone it simply means that we disconnected from it we became disjointed and this has an effect on everything in our lives whether it comes to money or results in your relationship or your health uh, your relationship with yourself determines uh, all the relationships that you have in your life like whether, like I said before whether it's with your finances or with your children your friends people at work and so on so the, one of the key things is and this is a nice big fat issue how can we change this hugely create radical change in the shortest amount of time and have fun while we do it and be daring and be brave and be different to everyone else and stop bashing up your internal bully, stop beating it down and stop intimidating it, stop ignoring it and start listening to it. So tonight that's what I want to take you through a little exercise where we can do that together. Because let's face it, the bully comes out when you're under stress. Usually if, when I look over my life, the bully is happily asleep somewhere or far in the background, let's say if I'm having a romantic dinner with Peter and I feel really really happy about my life and I feel loved but the bully jumps out at me like even doing a Facebook live although I'm used to that now so I don't really experience that so much anymore but the bully will jump out when I look in the mirror um, 
statistics show that 93% of women are very unhappy about their body. And I'm a woman, so you know, when I look at myself in the mirror, the bully is always quick to say something like, oh, well, you can tell you've never done any exercises or um, look at the wrinkle under your eyes or, you know, bags under your eyes. You shouldn't have had a glass of wine yesterday. And that's a friendly bully, right? I've had some real, real nasty bullies in my body and they, the worst times was after I had an accident when I got hit by a truck and I couldn't move and I was in a lot of pain. And that proved to me that if you have pain anywhere in your life, your bully will be the loud, loudest. And maybe you have a whole army of bullies. Maybe you have a whole army of Nazis <laughs> running around in the background. So it's up to you to clean up your life, clean up your act, make friends with the bullies, the louder the voice message is, the meaner it is, the more important it is for you that you, that you take notice of it and that you hear it. Because the three key needs that every human being has is the need to be heard, the need to be seen, and the need to be celebrated. And I could go on as well, the need to feel worthy, the need to feel lovable, the need to feel deserving and so on, the need for <coughs> validation and acknowledgement. So like when we think of the bully, the bully is a part of you. It's attached to a memory. The memory is playing out in the back of your mind, somewhere like in the back room. Um, you've forgotten the memory of the trauma, but like I said, the body hasn't forgotten. And it's literally banging on your door saying, hey, something here isn't right. And, um, and the bully also needs attention, it needs to be heard, it needs to be seen, it needs to be celebrated, it needs to be acknowledged, right? And the bully will lead you straight, if you trail that voice, straight back, it will lead you into the issues in your tissues that need healing. So it's literally like a little child that's tugging on your arm and saying, Come this way, come this way. I want to show you something, you know. Um, I, I want your attention at least. And then if you listen to it, you might actually get a message as well, right? And once you get the message, you get the learning, the, the bully will actually integrate in your body and become your best friend. Um, <clears throat> because the bully is always here to protect you. That's the bottom line. I can absolutely guarantee you that. So when we ignore it, when we beat it down and we tell it to shut up, we are actually shutting down our protective instincts. And also our immune system, by the way, is never older than, never older or smarter than um, your inner child, right? So our immune system has the consciousness of a six or seven year old child that was you at age six or seven or eight at the most. So um, if you're always like shutting the bully down or beating your thoughts, beating yourself, beating up your bully, beating yourself up for being negative, <clears throat> it's also going to affect your immune system. So before I take you through this practice, I'm going to show you a few things. I'm going to show you how to get your body out of fight and flight. Because like when you're in fight and flight, like I said before, and which it's the bully will be louder, right? It's not going to calm down very easy because fight and flight means you're in danger. So like all the bullies come out, right? So I'll do a little practice to get you out of fight and flight. And then I'll show you how to um, deal with yourself with kindness and compassion. Because researchers <clears throat> who study the field of human behavior and psychology and success and so on, uh, they discover that the, the one, the single biggest thing that creates the most change in your life, it's actually not diet, it's not going to the gym, it's not studying, reading books or uh, anything else that you hear from, you know, mindset coaches and success coaches. The one biggest thing that creates the largest, most lasting change in your life is kindness being kind to yourself, 
and having compassion, right? And um, just take my word for it. I've, I've come across that in diff and I believe it's true. And I've also practiced kindness to myself uh, for the last decade solidly as part of my recovery from the truck accident. And I can assure you my life is a lot better now and I'm, I'm still learning literally, and, um, but it gets easier because um, as you work through old issues and so on, everything eventually starts to get a lot easier, of course. So I just want to also share a little story with you. So one, I had one really bad episode in 2009, I think it was. <coughs> and Peter and I and three, two of our children and a niece were flying to Holland on holiday in the middle of the winter here and we uh, were going to holiday for a summer trip. And on the way from Melbourne to Hong Kong, I caught a bowel blockage. And so during those years, like I had six years where I used to suffer bowel blockages from, um, as a result of the accident that I had, which filled my tummy with scar tissue. And so if I was flying, I didn't know that at the time though, but every time I flew, I got sick. But what I didn't know was how the extent of my scar tissue, right? So we, were, we just left Melbourne and we were a few hours into the flight to Hong Kong and I caught a life-threatening bowel blockage and I couldn't move or do nothing. And so by the time we arrived in Hong Kong, I, I was nearly unconscious from the pain and the, the distress in my body. And I mean, you know, people die from bowel blockages. It's like often fatal. And so I had to be carted off to a hospital in Hong Kong in 2009. And so Hong Kong was already taken over by China and the hospital where I was staying, we, I was on a four bed ward, with, which in Australia you would have four patients at the most, but uh, this had about six or eight patients. So there were beds on the floor and I was lucky to have a bed like a normal bed and so while I was trying to you know recover from the bowel blockage and hooked up to drips and so on I could see from the corner of my eye in the bed next to me there was a prisoner and she was literally chained to the rails of a bed like so there was a woman who must have been sick and she ended up uh, on the medical ward in Hong Kong in this hospital that was like a rundown hospital and um, she to make matters worse so like every piece of floor was covered and there were two policemen sitting in the corner keeping an eye on her even though she was chained to the bed as well with chains and so it was all very disgusting to my senses really like you know human rights and all that I didn't have a clue what her offenses were I was feeling sorry for her she was being bullied by the police people who showed her no respect whatsoever and so at one point she decided to be naughty or to resist and the chain allowed her to get under her bed. So she started to hide under her bed, which was really humiliating because she was a grown woman. I felt real sorry for her. And so that intensified the bullying. They were threatening her and she had to come back inside her bed, but she didn't do it. And then <clears throat> um, this went on for a few hours and then during the night, a really lovely nurse came on so there was a change of shifts and a new nurse came on and the nurse sat down next to the prisoner on the floor and she talked to her in a real nice way I could tell that even though I couldn't understand the language she was just talking to her and showing her love and respect and within a few minutes the prisoner was back on top of the bed where she belonged and so that proved to me that um, that if you want results in your life, if you want results with anyone, show people love and respect. But of course, first and foremost, show all the different parts of you that are rebelling, that are scared, that are stuck, that are chained up, that are naughty, you know, that are counterintuitive to your sane self. All those parts need to be treated with love and compassion and you will get them going into direction into the same direction that you are heading so i hope that makes sense to you and by the way i did recover of course otherwise i wouldn't be sitting here so i spent a few nights and days in a hospital in hong kong and 
and then my bowels uh, suddenly started to work again and I was able to fly on to uh, Holland. So lucky that's all in the past for me, right? But every time I had a bowel blockage and I had a lot of pain or something happened like a refreshing of my injuries, my internal bullies would absolutely attack me so badly and that would make the whole situation worse. So um, when you're in acute pain, that's not a good time to to take the bully by the hand, that's another thing. You have to do that now, like today, when your life is good. That's paying it forward, right? When you're having good moments, when you're having um, in your normal life, it's like the same way that you get up and brush your teeth and have a shower. You also need to spend time doing your mm -hmm. hygiene with your relationships with all the different parts uh, that are running the show behind the scenes. Just spend time meditating, um, spend time journaling, um, doing exercises that I'm going to show you today that are very, very helpful. Um, getting to know all the different aspects of you, of who you are, because, you know, lots of parts of you went missing in the washing, so to speak. Life happens and we become disconnected and the disconnect will show up in your life as pain, accidents, um, dramas, uh, lack of abundance and so on. And it can all change. I'm here to show you how much that can change and it can change easily. So I've talked to you for a long time, so let's do this exercise. So research shows, it, like I said, that the bully will come out and it's the loudest when you're feeling stressed. So let's get out of stress and I want you to just fold your hands like this, like I'm doing, and place your hands like this on your chest, like on your heart center. Close your eyes and just take a nice cleansing breath through your nose and out through your mouth or whichever way you want to breathe. And just having your hands like this on your chest calms your heart and changes the chemistry in your body and I'm doing a burp that also means my body is releasing stress and it uh, helps your body to go from, from fight and flight to releasing dopamine and serotonin for the next six hours so it's as easy as this creating a new you. So now I want you to take your mind back to a time and could be today that the bully was very active. So maybe you heard, um, maybe it was a mean voice, so it might have said like, or oh, you heard you're having a bad hair day again, time you missed your, or the bully might have gone like, you missed your dental appointment, you are just hopeless and you forgot to ring up yesterday and um, you didn't do anything special this summer and you promised yourself to lose 10 kilos and now you're fatter than ever and so on. You will never be any good. You're just so stupid. Um, okay, fill in the blanks. You can come up with stuff yourself. You were nasty to your partner just after he brought you a cup of tea. You growled at him and you're just always uh, blah, blah, blah. You didn't save money to pay the bills and um, things will never change for you. So that is sort of the sort of thing that the bully will go, messages it will tell you. So just choose one of those messages. It can be the nastiest, meanest one if you like. And now I, I want you to just sit very, very quiet in your body. So the point is the message, what it was saying, we know that it's all lies. So the words are actually lies. The words are not true. But I want you to um, connect with a voice, like the source, where did it come from in your body? And how old is that voice? That's a good one. So just ask yourself, how old is that voice? How old is the little child in me that wants to be heard? and seen and noticed and acknowledged and then celebrated. So your body might will give you a number, so it might say three years old or one year old or six months old. 
if if it's older than eight you just ask the question again because it always has to be eight or younger okay and then what i want you to do is just simply sit quietly and feel your hands on your heart um, don't buy into the words because we know that the words the message is actually a lie but the pain is real and it's going to lead you back to a trauma memory and maybe you won't remember the trauma or the memory but you can feel the sensation in your body so just even pretending me playing this along with you i feel tension in my neck as if somebody is grabbing me by the scruff and so you might feel something in your belly or in your shoulder or in your leg just notice that's called listening listening to the sensations and just by noticing it breathing into it paying attention to it that means you're shining the light of your awareness on it and that part of your body is now starting to feel noticed it's feeling heard and it will feel celebrated if you show up with loving kindness and compassion so just think of compassion compassion for the little child let's say your body said the voice belongs to my three-year-old self just imagine the little three-year-old Imagine any little three-year-old and feel compassion. And just remember the bully is trying to protect you today. So you can say, thank you for protecting me. Thank you for being so mean to me. I know where you're coming from. And thank you for looking after me. And then you can um, brighten the picture of the inner child. And put it in a beautiful color. Turn up the colors. And stay with the feeling in your body till it's gone. So sometimes that can take 10 minutes, it might take 20 minutes, it doesn't matter. Because um, your body has been waiting for you maybe for 60 years, right? Before you take notice of it. Eventually a very beautiful positive feeling will come through, will pop through. And then you can give yourself permission to sit with a beautiful calming feeling like the prisoner who jumped back on a bed when a nice kind nurse talked to her in a respectful compassionate way and she became cooperative so just breathe into your body feel appreciation for your body Feel compassion for all your inner parts that are working so hard for you, keeping you healthy, keeping you safe. And if you have time um, later on when you do the replay, maybe you can ask your body, are there any more parts that want to pop out tonight for healing, that want to be heard and seen and celebrated and acknowledged? Are there any more parts hiding under the bed or are there any more parts locked in a cupboard or chained to a bed or just ask yourself those questions with compassion and kindness. And then when you're ready, you can open your eyes. So this is just a very, very simple exercise that um, will go very deep into your nervous system for healing and as it retrieves those old memories. Um, your body will release the issues in your tissues and you might even feel like a little bit of a chemical reaction in your body as it's releasing toxins and that's why it's good to actually have your hands like this so like folded like so double cross by doubly crossing your hands and arms the brain the two brain hemispheres work together to integrate the trauma if it's too difficult you can just simply sit like this that helps as well so this is like um an exercise that i love to do and it works really really well and um you know in the outside world it might be a good strategy to beat the bully we know that bullies only respond to other bullies right and so the top dog wins but on in the inner world that's not the way to go about it 
when you're dealing with your inside innermost self, always lather on the compassion and the kindness, turn up the, comp the kindness dial, just imagine you have a dial somewhere that you can manually turn up the compassion and the kindness, remember to be kind to yourself during the day as well. So when you turn that up, the inner judge and the inner critic, uh, can't attack the bully so then you know so you actually find that as you integrate the bully the mini then there will be another voice and so on so it's like the work is ongoing but it will definitely pay off it will show up that you have so much peace and confidence in yourself and um, people will want to be your friends they will respect you they will want to hang uh, be with you and then also it shows up in your finances your money will start to flow you feel more connected to nature um, just everything in your life really uh, improves in um, just having that deep and meaningful connection that you gain with yourself will flow on into every other relationship as well and that is very very rewarding and fulfilling so I hope that you enjoyed this session tonight and um, looking forward to hearing from you this week. Just, um, I'm, I would be so happy if you could send me a message, just share your experiences. And if you're really, really stuck somewhere, please come and see me as well, because uh, I find it very easy when I deal with my clients to f see where people are stuck. Uh, I can pretty well see that straight away, like within the first few minutes. And then we can heal your stuckness for a whole hour so you feel completely different. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Hi Jane. Um, and I look forward to, to seeing you next week. Have a great week everyone. See you. Bye.